Tell me the truth. Have you been singing all your life? Well, since eight years old. Eddie Kendricks, a pivotal figure in the soulful symphony of Motown, etched his name in the annals of music history with a blend of melodic genius and personal complexities. His journey, intertwined with the legendary group The Temptations, was as much about chart-topping melodies as it was about the undercurrents of controversy that often played in the background. He passed away 25 years ago, and over the years, friends and family have confirmed the rumors that Eddie went through a tough time during his legendary days. From internal conflicts with the group and company to the pressure of his personal life being heavily scrutinized under the spotlight. His addiction to nicotine was also a big problem that eventually caused his demise. But last year he had to have a lung removed because of cancer, the result of a 30-year smoking habit. I went to have a checkup and the doctor told me that I had a um, carcinoma. Born in the rhythmic heart of Birmingham, Alabama, Kendrick's early life was a prelude to a career that would see soaring highs and profound lows. He had been blessed with a musical voice and his falsetto, a signature that distinguished the Temptations' sound, became a symbol of the group's identity, even as it foreshadowed the discord that would later emerge. Day through my window, I watch her as she passes by. Kendrick's story is not just one of musical triumphs, but also of the challenges and controversies that shadowed his steps, from internal group conflicts to personal struggles that mirrored the societal changes of his time. Let's delve deep into the tapestry of Kendrick's life, unraveling the threads of controversy that wove through his career with The Temptations and beyond, painting a portrait of an artist whose legacy is as enduring as it is complex. The roots of Eddie Kendrick's story are deeply embedded in the soil of Birmingham, Alabama, where his early life was marked by a blend of humble beginnings and a burgeoning passion for music. Born Edward James Kendrick on December 17, 1939, he grew up in a time and place where racial tensions were palpable, and music often served as a refuge and a form of expression for the African-American community. Kendrick's initial foray into music was not just a pursuit of passion, but also an escape from the harsh realities of the segregated South. In these formative years, Kendrick's honed his skills in the art of singing, developing a distinctive falsetto that would later become his trademark. His early musical influences were rooted in gospel and R&B, genres that were deeply intertwined with the African-American experience. Kendrick's journey in music took a significant turn when he met Paul Williams, a fellow singer with similar aspirations. Their shared passion for music and complementary vocal styles laid the foundation for a partnership that would eventually lead to the formation of The Temptations. The early days of The Temptations, originally known as The Elgins, were a period of exploration and experimentation. Kendrick's and Williams, along with Otis Williams, Melvin Franklin, and Elbridge Bryant, formed the original lineup of the group. These young men, each bringing their unique talents and backgrounds, embarked on a journey that would take them from the streets of Detroit to the heights of the music world. The group's early struggles were emblematic of the challenges faced by many African-American artists during that era, navigating a music industry that was often unwelcoming and discriminatory. Kendrick's role in these early years was pivotal. His falsetto not only shaped the group's sound, but also played a crucial role in defining their identity. The Temptations' early music was a reflection of the Motown sound, a style that was gaining popularity during the 1960s. However, their journey to success was not straightforward. The group faced numerous challenges, from lineup changes to struggles with finding their musical niche. Kendrick's vision for the group often clashed with Motown's formulaic approach, leading to early tensions that foreshadowed future conflicts. Despite these challenges, the temptation's perseverance paid off. Their breakthrough came with hits like The Way You Do The Things You Do and My Girl, songs that showcased Kendrick's vocal prowess and the group's harmonious blend. These early successes were a testament to their talent and determination, marking the beginning of a legacy that would leave an indelible mark on the music industry. The ascent of the temptations to the zenith of Motown's glory was a journey marked by both artistic triumphs and internal turbulence. As the group began to carve out their place in the annals of music history, the dynamics within the group started to evolve, often leading to friction and controversy, particularly involving Eddie Kendricks. Following their initial successes, the Temptations found themselves navigating the complexities of fame and the expectations of an ever-growing fan base. Their music began to resonate with a wider audience, transcending racial and geographical boundaries. 
This period saw the group releasing a string of hits that would become timeless classics. Songs like Ain't Too Proud to Beg and Beauty Is Only Skin Deep not only showcased Kendrick's vocal talents, but also highlighted the group's ability to blend soulful melodies with poignant lyrics. However, beneath the surface of these successes, there were growing tensions within the group. Kendrick's, known for his quiet demeanor and artistic sensibilities, often found himself at odds with the more assertive personalities in the group, particularly as decisions about the musical direction and group management came to the fore. His preference for traditional soul and R&B clashed with the group's gradual shift towards more commercially viable sounds. This period was also marked by changes in the group's lineup, adding to the internal strife. The pressure of maintaining their status at the top of the charts and the relentless demands of touring began to take a toll on the group members Kendricks included. The stress exacerbated existing conflicts with disagreements over musical direction and personal issues coming to the forefront. Kendrick's relationship with the group's management, particularly with Motown head Barry Gordy, became increasingly strained. His insistence on maintaining artistic integrity often clashed with Gordy's vision for the group's commercial success. Despite these challenges, the Temptations continued to achieve remarkable success, with Kendrick's playing a key role in their artistic output. His influence on the group's sound was undeniable, even as his relationship with other members became increasingly complicated. This period in their career was a testament to their resilience as artists, even as it laid the groundwork for future conflicts that would eventually lead to significant changes within the group. The rise of The Temptations was not just a tale of musical success, it was also a narrative of the challenges faced by a group of talented individuals trying to stay united in the face of fame, creative differences, and the pressures of an evolving music industry. As The Temptations solidified their place in the music world, the internal dynamics of the group began to shift, with Eddie Kendricks often at the center of these changes. Let us dive into the period where Kendricks's creative vision and personal style started to diverge significantly from the evolving direction of the group, leading to a series of conflicts that would mark a turning point in their journey. Kendricks, with his distinct falsetto and refined musical taste, had been instrumental in shaping the early sound of The Temptations. However, as the group's fame grew, so did the pressure to adapt and evolve their music to suit the changing tastes of a broader audience. This shift often put Kendricks at odds with other members and the Motown management. His commitment to the group's original soul and R&B roots clashed with the new directions being explored, particularly the move towards more pop-oriented sounds and socially conscious themes. The internal strife within The Temptations was not just about musical direction, but also about personal and professional relationships. Kendricks, known for his reserved and introspective nature, sometimes found it challenging to assert his views against the more dominant personalities in the group. His disagreements with fellow members, particularly with the charismatic and influential David Ruffin, began to create a divide within the group. These tensions were further exacerbated by the group's grueling schedule and the stress of maintaining their status as one of Motown's premier acts. During this period, Kendricks also began to feel marginalized by the group's management. His ideas and preferences were often overlooked in favor of decisions that prioritize commercial success over artistic integrity. This growing sense of disenfranchisement led to Kendricks feeling increasingly alienated within the group, a sentiment that was mirrored in some of his solo contributions to the group's albums. Despite these challenges, Kendricks continued to contribute significantly to The Temptations' music. His voice remained a defining element of their sound, and his influence was evident in some of their most successful tracks during this period. However, the ongoing conflicts and the strain of balancing personal convictions with the demands of fame were taking a toll on Kendricks and the group's cohesion. It was a critical phase in The Temptations' history, where the balance between individual creativity and group unity was constantly tested. A period that showcased Kendrick's artistic depth and his struggle to maintain his musical identity within the evolving landscape of the group and the broader music industry. At the height of their fame, The Temptations were not just a musical phenomenon but a cultural icon. However, this period of unparalleled success was paradoxically intertwined with escalating internal conflicts, particularly involving Eddie Kendrick's. 
During this era, the Temptations were celebrated not only for their musical talents, but also for their influence on the evolving landscape of African-American music. Hits like Papa Was a Rolling Stone and Cloud Nine showcased the group's ability to innovate and adapt to the changing musical trends. However, these changes in musical direction, particularly the shift towards psychedelic soul and more politically charged themes, were a source of contention for Kendrick's. He found himself increasingly uncomfortable with these stylistic shifts, preferring the classic soul and R&B roots that had initially defined the group's sound. Kendrick's discomfort was not just about musical preferences, but also about the changing dynamics within the group. The arrival of new members like Dennis Edwards and the departure of others like David Ruffin altered the group's chemistry. Kendrick's often felt his voice and influence diminishing in the face of these changes. His relationship with the group's management, especially Barry Gordy, became more strained as he perceived a growing disconnect between his artistic vision and the commercial objectives of Motown. The internal dynamics of the temptations during this period were complex and fraught with tension. Kendrick's, despite his quiet nature, did not shy away from voicing his concerns, leading to heated discussions and disagreements with other members. The stress of constant touring, recording, and the pressure to maintain their status as one of Motown's top acts only served to exacerbate these tensions. Kendrick's role in the group during this time was a balancing act between contributing to their evolving sound and maintaining his personal artistic integrity. His contributions to the group's albums, though sometimes overshadowed by the more dominant voices, remained integral to their success. However, the ongoing conflicts and the feeling of being marginalized within the group were taking a significant toll on him, both personally and professionally. It was a time when the group's external success was at its peak, yet internally they were facing some of their most challenging conflicts. Kendrick's struggle to find his place in the changing landscape of the group in the music industry highlights the complexities of fame and artistic expression. Eddie Kendrick's departure from The Temptations marked a significant turning point in his career and the group's history. Let's explore the intricate circumstances surrounding his exit and the onset of his solo career, a period rife with both challenges and opportunities. Kendrick's decision to leave The Temptations was not made lightly. It was the culmination of years of growing tensions, artistic disagreements, and personal conflicts within the group. His discomfort with the group's musical direction, particularly the shift towards funk and psychedelic soul, was at odds with his preference for classic soul and R&B. These stylistic differences, coupled with his feeling of being marginalized within the group, led Kendrick's to the realization that his future no longer aligned with The Temptations. The transition from a member of a renowned group to a solo artist was fraught with challenges for Kendrick's. While he had gained significant fame and experience with The Temptations, embarking on a solo career required him to establish himself anew in the competitive music industry. His initial solo endeavors were met with mixed success. Tracks like Keep On Truckin' and Boogie Down achieved notable popularity, showcasing Kendrick's ability to adapt his style to the evolving musical landscape. However, replicating the consistent success he enjoyed with The Temptations proved to be a daunting task. Kendrick's solo career was not just a professional journey, but also a personal one. He faced numerous challenges, including financial difficulties and legal battles over royalties and contracts. His personal life, particularly his relationships, also came under public scrutiny, adding another layer of complexity to his post-Temptations life. Despite these obstacles, Kendrick's commitment to his music remained steadfast. His solo albums, though varied in success, were a testament to his versatility as an artist and his dedication to his craft. During this period, Kendrick's also grappled with health issues. His battle with lung cancer, which he would eventually succumb to, began to take a toll on his ability to perform and record. Despite his declining health, Kendrick's continued to be involved in music, collaborating with other artists and occasionally reuniting with The Temptations for special performances. Kendrick's journey as a solo artist was a reflection of his resilience and adaptability. It was a period marked by personal introspection, professional challenges, and a continued commitment to his artistic vision. His legacy as a solo artist, though overshadowed by his tenure with The Temptations, is an integral part of his overall contribution to the music world. In the later years of his life, Eddie Kendricks navigated a landscape of personal and professional challenges that were as complex as they were poignant. This chapter of his life was a period highlighting his ongoing health struggles, his efforts to maintain a presence in the music industry, and the enduring impact 
impact of his legacy. After his departure from The Temptations and the mixed success of his solo career, Kendricks faced a series of personal trials. His health became a primary concern as he battled lung cancer, a fight that would ultimately define his final years. The diagnosis came as a shock, not just to Kendricks, but to his fans and the music community at large. Despite the severity of his condition, Kendricks continued to exhibit remarkable resilience. He remained active in the music scene, albeit at a reduced capacity, demonstrating his unwavering passion for his craft. During this time, Kendricks's contributions to music began to receive renewed recognition. The unique quality of his falsetto and his role in shaping the sound of The Temptations were increasingly celebrated by both peers and new generations of fans. His influence extended beyond his own recordings, as his style and technique inspired a wide range of artists across various genres. This period also saw Kendricks engaging in occasional reunions with The Temptations, moments that were both nostalgic and reflective of the deep bonds formed during their years together. Kendricks's personal life, particularly his relationships and family, also came into focus during these years. He grappled with the complexities of balancing his public persona with his private life, a challenge that was magnified by his health issues. His role as a father and his interactions with former bandmates painted a picture of a man who, despite the trials of fame and illness, valued personal connections and a sense of belonging. As Kendrick's health deteriorated, his legacy within the music industry became increasingly apparent. Tributes and accolades poured in, highlighting his contributions to the Motown sound and the broader landscape of American music. His struggle with lung cancer also brought attention to the health issues faced by musicians, particularly those from his era, and sparked conversations about the need for better health care and support within the industry. Eddie Kendrick's later years were a testament to his strength and enduring influence. Even as he faced personal hardships and health battles, his impact on music remained undiminished. His legacy, characterized by his distinctive voice and artistic integrity, continued to resonate, influencing artists and touching the hearts of fans around the world. The legacy of The Temptations in the years following Eddie Kendrick's departure and subsequent passing became a narrative of enduring influence, marked by both triumphs and tragedies. After Kendrick's left, The Temptations continued to evolve, both in terms of personnel and musical style. The group saw several lineup changes, with new members bringing different influences and talents. Despite these changes, The Temptations managed to maintain their relevance in the music industry, adapting to new trends while staying true to their roots. Hits from this era, such as Treat Her Like a Lady, showcased their ability to evolve and appeal to a new generation of listeners. However, this period was also marked by a series of personal tragedies for the group. The deaths of former members, including Kendricks, Paul Williams, and David Ruffin, cast a shadow over the group's legacy. Each of these losses was felt deeply, not just by the remaining members, but by fans worldwide. These passings highlighted the human aspect of the group's journey, reminding the world that behind the fame and the music were individuals with their own struggles and vulnerabilities. The group's influence on the music industry remained significant during this time. Their sound, a blend of soulful harmonies and innovative production, continued to inspire artists across various genres. Their legacy was also cemented through numerous accolades and recognitions, including induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. These honors were a testament to their enduring impact on the landscape of American music. Despite the challenges and changes, The Temptations' commitment to their craft never wavered. They continued to tour and record, bringing their music to new audiences and keeping the spirit of their classic hits alive. Their performances were not just concerts, but celebrations of a rich musical heritage, a tribute to the members who had passed and a testament to the group's resilience. The story of the temptations in the years following Eddie Kendrick's departure is one of perseverance and adaptation. It is a narrative that encompasses the highs of continued success and the lows of personal loss. Their journey serves as a powerful reminder of the impact of music on our lives and the enduring legacy of those who create it. The temptations through their triumphs and tragedies remain a symbol of the transformative power of music and the human spirit. The tale Eddie Kendricks and the Temptations is more than a chronicle of musical achievements. It is a poignant reflection on the complexities of fame, the challenges of artistic integrity, and the enduring power of music. Eddie Kendricks's story, from his rise to fame with The Temptations to his struggles as a solo artist and his untimely demise, is a compelling testament to the resilience and vulnerability of an artist. 
His unique voice and stylistic contributions significantly shaped the group's sound and left an indelible mark on the soul and R&B genres. Kendrick's journey was marked by both dazzling heights and profound challenges, illustrating the often tumultuous path of a musical icon. The Temptation Saga, both with and without Kendrick's, mirrors the evolution of American music over several decades. Their ability to adapt to changing musical landscapes while maintaining their distinctive sound is a remarkable feat, showcasing their versatility and enduring appeal. The group's legacy is not just in their string of hits, but in their influence on generations of musicians and fans. They epitomize the Motown sound, becoming synonymous with a pivotal era in music history. Their story is also a narrative of personal struggles and triumphs, underscoring the human aspect behind the glamour of fame. Their experiences offer insights into the realities of life as a musician, from the exhilaration of success to the challenges of personal and health issues. As we conclude, the legacy of Eddie Kendricks and The Temptations stands as a powerful reminder of the transformative nature of music. Their story is one of enduring relevance, a saga that continues to resonate and inspire, echoing the timeless quality of their artistry and the universal themes of their journey. That's it for today. Have an amazing day and see you all next time.